G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is an M56 smart gun. This is a weapon used by humans in the Alien franchise to kill all of the Xenomorph space Allens. It's a really cool looking weapon too, look at this. You've got the MG42 design aesthetics here with this rear assembly, and the barrel here, and this charging handle. It looks really cool. Unfortunately, there's no real function to that, because this thing, being in beta, is only using junk jet animations, which are kind of odd, but... Again, it's only in beta, so we're not going to be too critical on that. We're going to be primarily judging this thing on its performance. So, getting into the attachments, which there's a good amount of customization here, so we'll get started. So, the standard receiver does 184 damage. We can push that to the highest with the armat receiver, which has adios on the side, which is cool, I guess. There's also assault receivers, colonial receivers, marine receivers, and then there's Vasquez and Wayland's receivers. They're characters in the movies or whatever that actually actually use these things, which is kind of cool. Moving on to the barrels, this will get you firing different sort of things. So the flame bolt barrel gives you a little bit of a flame effect to your shots. You also do a little bit of fire damage, which are uh, which the, the game is programmed not to even use that. That's left over from Skyrim and they didn't use. All of the energy weapons do the zappy zap thing for damage. So no one can actually resist that unless they've been, you know, modified to be programmed to resist that as far as I know. So nice extra 45 damage there. You've also got an electro laser barrel which does more of the uh, energy damage. You've also got a D receiver, the 57D. And the D stands for dirty as in it fires a projectile which explodes into tiny radioactive splints. Hence the enhanced damage and also the little bit of a radiation attached to it, which is nice. So going performance wise, I think the hardened barrel will be the best, but I'm going to use, be using the flame bolt and electro laser as well because they sound cool. Now for the sights, I'm going to keep this as a standard sights because I think it's a 4 times zoom, but having the enhanced one is a 10 times zoom. I'm not going to be sniping with this thing. It's possible to do it, and you'll see why in a second, but I'm going to have this one be a little bit more of the close range sight. You also chuck a muzzle brake, a compensator, a flame charger, which gives you even more damage, muzzle focuser for more of that, muzzle splitter, and a suppressor, which is probably what I'm going to be using for sniping with this thing, but I'm not going to chuck that one on this one. For this, I'm going to chuck on the flame charger for a little bit more damage and electro damage and some energy damage, I guess. And there's a standard grip here, and we can change our magazine size, increase our capacity. It doesn't change the mesh of the drum, but I guess there's something going on under the hood. No materials can be added to this. It's probably just left over from the weapon which it was brought from, and a legendary effect is there if you need it. I'll create a couple more of these so we can see its different ammo effects in work, and we'll see you where we always shoot people. Okay, so here we are, generally in a place where I like to kill stuff, and where I want to go first is Big John Selvage, because that's where you actually require, uh, acquire this weapon. And, um, I'm not going to use this barrel very much, because when you fire it, this happens. It actually fucking kills you. How stupid is that? Yeah, something's wrong with that. If it was a normal ballistic gun, it would be um, misfiring. I just wouldn't fire a shot because it's being stopped before it even gets out of the barrel. But for this mod, since it's an explosive projectile, it's uh, a little bit more dangerous to me. But anyway, this is the one with a suppressor. This is one with an enhanced long scope so I can snipe people with. And hopefully with this, I can actually snipe away at Gerald before he can even hit me. So he's going over there doing God knows what. So we can snipe at these guys. I think this is just the equivalent to a long scope. As you can tell, the accuracy is weirdly bad. I don't know. There's like a smart element to this gun. I thought it was going to be like seeking projectiles. Maybe they'd make it too overpowered. But definitely doing the good work here. It's, it's powerful enough. It's just that I don't get the smart bit about it. Maybe I'm not well enough into the know about the Alien franchise to actually know what's really going on here. But using this thing as a sniper is totally possible. These guys are aggroed, so I'm not getting any sneak attack criticals on them. But if they're alone, we should be. I am actually haven't been able to nail any sneak attack criticals. So, looks like Gerald's ready to go at the start of this thing. So, as you can tell here, this one is having the same problems with misfiring. You can tell the projectile is just not making it sometimes, so... I don't know, adding a projectile override usually fixes this, but this one's broken too. This is the same thing that was happening with the radio the radiation barrel before, that's why it wasn't working. It might be something to do with the muzzle attachments too, but honestly, not worth having that thing around anymore. This one has the um, electricity effect, the electro one, and uh, it's doing okay, I suppose. You get a bunch of shots in this at bats despite it being a very big weapon. Also the um, animations for firing this thing in an automatic fashion in third person means you sort of sweep it to the side, which is kind of weird. It's kind of like an arc welder, isn't it? 
We're doing pretty good uh, damage against Gerald here. He's going to mutate in a second, isn't he? No, he's not. But that critical there is absolutely minting him. Keep on hitting him. We might actually get him. Yes, cool lightning gun. I did give this one a beam splitter too, so it's like a lightning shotgun. And as you can tell, it paralyzes people, and you can ragdoll them with it, which is fun. But if you want to chase legendary super mutants across the world, or if you don't want to, then... It's probably a recommended thing not to attach this thing. Um, I think the paralyzing effect on this is a little bit unnecessary, but whatever. We're doing pretty good so far. I expected this thing to be very powerful, and it is delivering, but it's not completely overpowered. There's some dumb stuff here and there that uh, shouldn't happen, but I'm going to just use this thing. I'll burst fire it to make sure I don't kill myself. And apparently these guys get taken down in one shot by this, which is odd. It's weird how I was complaining about this thing being bugged before, but now it's not. That's really weird. Okay, so the reason I did come and run the gauntlet first is because there's actually um, a pickup point for this weapon. This You can easily grab it from here. So right in front of me is a sideways carriage, and that is your ticket to grabbing this weapon, as the game fucking has a heart attack or some shit. And what you need to do is open that up. Sometimes uh, it is open, but most of the time it isn't. You'll notice there is a little bit of a wire. You follow that wire and you can flip a switch that'll actually unlock it, because otherwise it is just um, air sealed or something. I think the family in there might have suffocated, I don't really know. But yeah. You go in there, and then you can find your very own smart gun. You just pop in through that little trap door there. And we'll move on against these super mutants here. Weirdly, this thing isn't fucking around with its muzzle anymore. None of the projectiles after that first hint of... Uh, maybe this thing just wanted to kill me once. I don't really know what's happening with this thing. It's just somewhat buggy, but again, it's a beta. I'll forgive it this time. Um, this thing is actually capable of insta-killing super mutant warlords, which doesn't make a lot of sense. There we go. We hit ourselves there. We might have been... I don't know how what... I actually don't know what happened there. I guess I fired it too low to the ground because the barrel's down here. But when you go in first person, it's actually higher up. I don't know. But if this thing starts hitting me again, which it is right now, I'm switching over to something else. Wait a second. Is it depending on the angle of what you fire? If I fire up here... Ah, if you fire it on too low of an angle, it'll explode. Also, that's just activated Nerd Rage, which makes my job a little bit harder. Really bad choice of weapon there. We'll switch back to our nice and safe explosive thing here with a suppressor, which I still haven't used for sniping, but I'm going to get to that in a second. There's a dogger over there. I'll just fire in his direction. I guess I can probably just Rambo it up in a second. Wrong movie, I, I know, but... Come on, show yourself, you little bitch. Actually, he might be downstairs. No, he's there. Man, if I had the marsupial mutation right now, you'd be very, you'd be very dead, my man. All right, there's the doggo, and the gauntlet has been cleared. And there's the reload animation, because it's the junk jet. <laughs> it's a little silly. These will be fixed in time, I'm sure. But apart from the bugs and everything, this thing is actually doing pretty well. I'm actually quite impressed with it. We'll pop a stim pack, we'll move on to someone else. We'll move on to somewhere else, not someone. There's another like, location I want to clear out. Once you're inside the little shelter, which curiously looks like a uh, truck trailer. Yeah, this thing is really weird. You'll find a bunch of 10mm caseless ammunition, which is what this thing fires, in these custom little containers, which is pretty good. You also find the weapon just behind these skeletons here. And you've also got the schematics there that'll allow you to craft some of the stuff that you saw earlier. Pretty good haul from this place. There's also a, ra a railway rifle over there, but honestly, give that a miss. Okay, so I figured out why this thing is called the smart gun. It just forces you to play smart, which is to say, into killing sleeping players. Or players. I'm, no, no, they're not players. They're just human NPCs. We're playing Fallout 4. Um... We're just going to kill people with uh, enhanced sneak attack criticals because we've got a suppressor, also increasing our damage ever so slightly thanks to... Oh, never mind, the sneaking's over. Not that it matters too much. I don't need to rely on sneak attack criticals to make this thing work now, do I? Is that guy dead? He might be dead. Oh, you've gotten yourself some power armor. Good for you. Let me just quickly kill ya. Yeah, a lot of good that armor did. It just gets blasted off in a second. 
And yep, then I have to worry about sneaking. My my plan to play this smart has failed, so I'll just play it like this instead. But I guess sitting back here and just blinking at my targets whilst they can't possibly reach me is a good idea. They're going to try to throw grenades. They're probably going to actually get nice and close, but I'm super tanky. It'll take more than a few grenades. I actually shot that grenade out of the air, and then I almost killed myself due to splash damage. Oh, I'm definitely putting the smart and smart gun today. You get a critical, by the way. Alright. That fucking mine always triggers my vats thing. That's really annoying, too. Oh, well, it's a good game mechanic if you want to detect mines easily, though, so... Saved my ass multiple times in my various Fallout 4 playthroughs. So, you know, that's good. And there's also one more down here. He's got a missile launcher, or she's got a missile launcher. Don't forget about this turret. Now we can probably move on to old mate who's actually in the chapel. There you are. Easily done. Alright, we can probably switch to the lightning gun now. I'm bored of this snipey business. Now, how does this thing go at range? At a little bit more range than I was doing before. I mean, these guys are going to be close, aren't they? It's the robot. We'll kill the robot. You're not nearly as scary as you are in Fallout 76. You got a buff, didn't you? Alright, not many more to go now. Just a couple of stragglers up on the roof somewhere. Up there. Well, I'm going to hit you in vats until I get a critical strike. Critical. That'll definitely get you, won't it? I mean, yeah, there's no reason why it, it should be getting them. We'll go for a critical again. There we go. That's how we get kills with this thing. We just wall hack. We just wall hack with our lightning shotgun. This is an odd moment to get really angry, but we're just going to really madly go up these stairs at the moment. And then we'll send you into outer space because physics go weird when this game's in slow motion. And uh, hopefully I don't die with full damage there. No, I didn't. That's good. And we are done with this place. Okay, I'm committed to making this sniper thing work, damn it. I'm going to fight a monster. Okay, just pretend that the Wendigo or whatever his name is is the Space Allen and I'm going to kill him. I bet Ripley can't do this. Let's see you pull this off, Ripley. You couldn't full auto hose down a xenomorph like me. You ain't got nothing on my angels. <laughs> okay. I think you get the point of this weapon at this point. This was the M56 smart gun. It's a cool weapon. It's a cool weapon concept. It's a cool weapon in its own universe. A definitely worthy of a download. But if you're waiting for this thing to be a little bit more polished before your, um, you put it into your game, I wouldn't blame you because this thing right now, it's, it's more of a... It's, it hasn't really gotten warmed up yet, I think. There's a bit more work that needs to be done to it before it becomes a nicer product, but if you'd like to see this game, this thing in your game anyways, check out the description. I'll, there'll be a link down there. Thank you very much for watching.